Hi, welcome to another video. So, I have been seeing a lot of negative light about anti-gravity on the internet. This was due to the fact that they bought windsurf and basically reused that. I think that's not an issue, because if you want to criticize for that, then you should criticize the founders who sold it, even when it was quite successful. I say whatever I can about Cursor, but I respect their founders that they have at least not sold their most loved editor to some AI model company, which will limit it to proprietary models. I think what Google has done with anti-gravity is fine, and they have been listening to the constructive feedback and have fixed a lot of stuff here and there, making it a bit of a pleasant experience. And I think that anti-gravity's free tier is currently the best free tier that you can get anywhere. And even if you pay, then it is also the best $20 subscription. I am saying this because I am on the free tier, and I get access to things like Opus 4.5, Gemini 3 Pro, and Gemini 3 Flash, which is insane, and the rate limits are not bad at all. I myself am using solely anti-gravity for almost all my tasks, and I hit the limits on extreme sessions, but that's not bad. And you can even take up their Google One plan, which will be way better than whatever the hell Cursor or Windsurf gives, and you can keep that running for a while, and almost never hit the rate limits on that. As for the talk about the agent panel, I think the agent panel is really lackluster, and I wouldn't tell you to use that at all. But if you just use the sidebar agent, then it's really very good. I do get a bit of agent errors sometimes, but it's free, and I can't really complain. On the plans, you probably won't even see them. I think anti-gravity's both pro and free plans are really the best value for money right now. In the pro plan, you get things like two terabytes of Google Drive storage, Gemini Pro plan, which is great for mobile usage. You also get great limits in Gemini CLI. You get great limits in Google Jewels. It's an insane value for money, in my opinion, if you want to pay for just one AI subscription. And I'd say that you don't even need to pay that. Just start using it. And if you don't trip the rate limits, then just keep using the free limits. That is about it. I wanted to tell my thoughts about it and why I think that it's over-criticized for no good reason. That is about it. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts too. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.